Well, right now, military moves in Afghanistan as hundreds of American soldiers head for Helmand province with the Taliban staging a, combat, a comeback there, sparking some of the fiercest fighting in the country since combat operations began some 15 years ago. Our national security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is live in the Pentagon with more. Jennifer? Jennifer, for the first time since combat operations were declared over in Afghanistan a little over a year ago, the Pentagon is sending a battalion of 500 soldiers to halt and advance by the Taliban in the volatile Helmand province, a serious about face for the Obama administration that pulled all U.S. troops out of Helmand province, handing over U.S. bases at the end of 2014. Just 14 months later, the Taliban have made a comeback. We are told the Army's 287 Infantry Battalion out of Fort from New York will be the unit going to Helmand. Last month, an American Special Forces soldier was killed and two others wounded while advising Afghan troops trying to push the Taliban out of Helmand province, another sign that U.S. forces are still engaged in combat in Afghanistan. Last week, the outgoing U.S. commander told lawmakers that a quarter of Afghanistan is at risk of falling to the Taliban. One reason, he said, may be a decrease in the number of U.S. airstrikes last year. Do you think the lack of U.S. air power being employed against the Taliban accounts for some of their gains in the country? I think the Taliban know that we downsized. I think the Taliban understand that in the past they, uh, they couldn't gather in larger formations. I think we've seen this year that they have taken advantage of, uh, of the reduction of the number of uh, coalition aircraft. Airstrikes in 2015 were down two-thirds from the year before. There are 9,800 U.S. troops in Afghanistan right now. That number is supposed to fall to 5,500 by the end of this year. General John Campbell would not say how many U.S. troops he thinks should stay. Announcing numbers provides the enemy uh, maybe in their mind that, that, that they can wait us out. The U.S. military no longer has any bases in Helmand province. The 500 U.S. soldiers will have to go to a former U.S. base turned over to the Afghans, making this deployment all the more challenging. Jenna. Jennifer, thank you.